welcome back. And we are moving into our final conversation for today as uh, we prepare for the celebration of Women's Month in March. We're joined by representatives of the Young Women's Christian Association, YWCA. We have the new General Secretary with us, yes. Deanne gomez Perfi. And uh, Marketing Officer for YWCA, Giovanni Collins. Good morning, good morning. and welcome. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. It's good to be here. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I, I, well, we have to say, first of all, this would be our first interview with you as the head of YWCA. And uh, talk to us a bit about what it was like taking on this new challenge. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we all know Ms. Sonia Linares has brought the Y to where it is. Yes. She's been there for 26 years. So um, it was quite interesting taking over from someone who has done so much and who really is, when you hear YWSA, you think Sonia Linares, yeah. right? So, um, but um, it's been interesting. It's been good. She gave me a good transition. Yeah. Um, she would never be able, nobody can ever teach you everything that you need to learn on any job and definitely not at the YWSA. Mm -hmm. Every day it's something new. Every day there's something going on. I like to tell people YWCA runs full throttle year long. You would think that there's a down time. There's never a down time at the Y. There's so much going on, but it's interesting work. It's good work. Yes. And so I've embraced it and I find as frustrating as some things may be, I don't go home frustrated. <laughs> so it's, it's very interesting. It's one of those yeah. jobs that you leave at the end of the day, but you still feel it's good work. Yeah. You know? can, I, can I ask, sorry, what, what accounts for this success that Mrs. Linares and the YWCS had because as the only male on this set, I have to say that... He doesn't like being outnumbered. That's <laughs> the but the, the YMCA has not enjoyed that level of success, you know. The men's one is way over there by Faber's Road in a corner. But we have seen the success of YWCA. We've seen the, it's right in the center and the energy there, the activity there, the success there. What accounts for the success? that you've learned so being there so far? Woman power. <laughs> <laughs> woman at the helm, woman on the board, commitment. We have women at the Y, and Giovanni can speak to it, who have been committed to the Y for their life. Yeah. Literally, once true. you get roped in by the Y, you just can't leave. You know, And mm -hmm. so people have given years and continue to give years. And we have a board that's a voluntary board, so, and they show up for meetings, they work. So it's that kind of commitment from the general secretary, from the staff, from the board, from members of the Y that makes the Y, yeah. the YWCA, the YWCA, and we're the, we're, we're, we're we're the most successful I one in the whole longer. region, you know. So yeah. we're we're proud to um, say that of yeah. all the Caribbean countries, the YWCA Belize is the champion. Yeah. Yeah, now mm -hmm. this is not your first work with, with young people. In fact, uh, you used to work with young people in entrepreneurship and in several other areas. But what excited you most about working in a female-focused organization? I, I think the whole idea of empowerment. Yeah. Girls, women, well, and youth, really. Yeah. So we're not leaving out the boys at all. And um, something about the YWCA, called me yeah. you know I, I find um, there's just so much that goes on it's not just it's, it's very focused in terms of we're here to empower women yeah. and youth but we do that in so many various ways and I think that's what I liked about it and there and it has a reputation that is really good so that's also something that I keep sure. in the back of my mind the front of my mind of all time why do we say it has a reputation that I am not there to destroy yeah. I'm only there to continue to build up and to ensure that um, yeah. everybody remembers that YWC is an organization that is good, it's honest, it has integrity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always fascinating having a conversation with YWC. There are so many things ongoing. Mm -hmm. And when I always think, oh, I, I kind of have an idea of what all they do, there's always something else. Mm -hmm. So, Giovanni, let, let's talk about that. Let's talk about what is currently ongoing at the uh, YWCA and uh, I know you have some new programs that will start soon right. as well and the good part is that it is to benefit women um, in terms of skills but it's also for people who want additional skills as well so tell us so this specific program I'm going to speak about this morning is not only specific to women, okay. but also to men. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to feel any way today. <laughs> right? So 
the YWCA is starting the 1st of March, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're going to launch our adult skills program. Mm -hmm. And the adult skills program is specifically geared towards three things. If you have an existing business that you need to revamp, then you should take up one of these courses. If you have a business idea that you have been so longing for to start, then you should consider what I have to say. Mm -hmm. And also, if you are just at home, not doing anything and need something to do, then you should pick up one of these classes. So we have in all, we have there about seven courses that we're going to offer, mm -hmm. such as food preparation, we have cake decorating, sewing advanced and basic. We even came up with two new ones, which is the aerobics instructor and the automotive repair for persons like myself and mm -hmm. other ladies, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> who have a car but don't know anything about it. Oh, I thought you were right? saying like yourself, like you want to be an instructor. <laughs> well, <laughs> well I, I'm not at that level as yet, right? But we, we know we have a lot of yeah, it's fit, true. fit persons around Belize and they have, that's their passion and they go around doing it. So all of these courses listed here are going to be uh, a certificate driven course whereby at the end of these four months, you will be given a certificate. So these courses are being run from Monday all the way through Saturdays to accompany those who are working. And if we look at the time frame, we have made it whereby anybody who is the working class could in, enroll and still be a part of this program. So for instance, if you do not like the job that you're in and, and you have always wanted that, that uh, cake uh, bakery or something yeah. like that, then you go for it. Take up one of these courses and it is the lowest cost in Belize. Yeah. It is only $70 for the month and it's a one-time $30 registration. Oh, and wow. this is for four months. And we, if you are a person who excels well, then maybe you could take more than one because these courses Miss Diana have implemented that these will run not only for one time for the year, it yeah. will be running throughout the year. So. Maybe you have tried the cosmetology and it's not your calling. You want to do food. You could go ahead and do it as long as the seminars are running. So this will start. Tomorrow is orientation. There's still time to register. Mm -hmm. It's a quick fill out form that is located right at the main office. You fill it out. You pay your $30 registration. You pay your first month and we work with you. Yes. Because we understand everybody might not have that full payment up front and we're willing to do a payment plan with you. So you just come in, you let us know what is happening, we enroll you and you start. You start so a new venture. We have aerobics, computer, food preparation, cosmetology for nails, yes. sewing, cake decorating, ES, English as a second yes. language, and, and automotive, automotive repair. repair. And just a note, the automotive repair is not a four month course. It's a four week course. It's basic. It's basic. So open if you need to know, mm -hmm. open yeah. the hood, mm -hmm. how to change your wipers, how to ensure that the gauges have enough yeah. fluids, mm -hmm. all of that is entailed in that, that is course. That's so great. Mm -hmm. You okay. know, if you have a new driver in the house or somebody then who's working for it, that is perfect for them because right. they need to know. They need to Even know. Before they get the license. Yeah. yeah. Are there any like age restrictions? Are there any other restrictions that. Well, we just ask know? that the person is over the age of 18 years old, and one, that is the only requirement we have. Yeah. Okay. It's adult skills. So the yeah, it's adult, adult skills. skills right. So and and that's part of what you want to be able to give people opportunities to make extra. If exactly. I could uh, do nails in addition On a to your job, or something that's like that. extra right. income to support Definitely. your family. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so that's the adult skill starting yes. on March 1st. And are we, I'm just smelling this in front of me. I know, <laughs> I was it's wondering if you're going to this. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I'm missing already. You, you what what already? <laughs> oh my. So we have here displayed in front of us our, I will not say new product, mm -mm. but this has been a product that has been in existence for over 40 years at the YWCA and we're just really getting it out in stores. Yeah. So if you see this pretty little Betty Crocker mm. package yes. in the refrigerator <laughs> aisle, this is a product it's of like the okay. YWCA, right? So, and we have to prove in front of us the actual product and we have brought it on set to let you guys sample to give hmm. your honest opinion. We don't want to say, oh, it tastes nice and oh, it's mm. the best, but it does. But it does. <laughs> and we just want you guys to confirm it. Right. So it is a Johnny Cake <laughs> mix. mix. Yes. And all you have to do with this mixture is add water. I you love the packaging though. I think yes. the packaging is beautiful. Yes. It's natural. Eco-friendly. And Green. 
I mean, how many of us don't want to just skip the whole call, mom, mom, how you do it? The, the <laughs> Johnny cake. You just use like your that. Johnny cake mix <laughs> and you add, what do you Water. add to Water. it? Water. That okay. is all you do. It all has in all the ingredients for that favorite mom and grandma Johnny cake that you love so yummy, much. Yummy, yummy, but yummy. Isn't this a subversion of a uh, key aspect of cultural development, which is the hand-me-down of recipes? and learning that from your grandmother as opposed to getting something out of a beautiful package. Yeah. Shouldn't I be learning this from my grandmother? Shouldn't she Did, be have teaching? Have you so far in your life? My grandmother is 103. <laughs> have you learned it so far? I don't know what this is for convenience. Yes. yes, I was just going to you say know, that. So all of we can learn it. Yeah. That doesn't mean we'll perfect it like our yeah. grandmother. True, true. And then I know some people buy it. They don't let their partners know they bought it. <laughs> they make it and darling, look for my nice <laughs> oh, yeah. Points, points, <laughs> points. <laughs> and also, I mean, the most obvious uh, place that this can sell is the, the tourists who come and love it. Yeah. Yes. And, you yeah. know, I don't, I don't want to imagine when they hunt for coconut milk or whatever it is yeah, that they need, yeah. um, they can just take the Johnny Cake mix as well. Yes. Now, as you said, it's, it's actually a product you've been doing for some time, but now it's in stores. Stores, right. So this product specifically is available at public supermarket, Save You, Brody's, at boat branches. So we're expanding and we're doing this since the, la the previous month mm -hmm. and we plan to do it in more stores. So What's been the reception so far? It's great. We yeah. production is up and it's going and yeah. we're happy for that and we like that the public is supporting this product because it is a fantastic product. What's the price point? At the Y it is sold at six dollars and this package alone makes one dozen Johnny cake and the, the, the proof. proof is in front yeah. of us, right? So um, at the She's stores... Not <laughs> She's not included. We just <laughs> dashed the thing. But yes, so six dollars you could get it at the Y W C A four because we're the focal point. But in stores they have to add on their commission, right? And it's not much. It's mm -hmm. very feasible still yet. So because we're not open on weekends. So yeah. Yeah. when you're running to make Jerry K could have some the mind. save you has it. And we're we've extended to Belmopan now. So yes. there are some what stores are trying? I believe Brody's. Brody's. Mm -hmm. Now in Belmopan have it. Yeah. And we are having our marketing person go around as well to recruit more stores. So we plan to let this thing be in all our districts yeah. and at a finger reach away. It's an income generator for the it organization. Yes. Yeah. So it's yes. not only eating delicious Johnny cakes, you're helping the girls at the school. Right. Yes. And in and improving infrastructure and from the, the, the programs we have yeah. in actuality. So other than this, I would like for you to try it. Yeah, but, but before I get distracted, let's continue okay, with let's the rest. I will try it in okay. there because then you yeah. lose me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But so, so we have, the, I, I love the innovation here mm -hmm. and, and kudos to, to getting it out into the stores and for the stores to being receptive to it as right. well. Yes. Now we just need uh, Belizeans to want to purchase, purchase it. So Definitely. talk to us about some of the other great programs that are coming out or projects like this. Um, there is the Belmopan uh, campus YWC, at uh, yes. YWC as well. You have your Helping Early Leavers program, program which I think is so important that we don't right. talk about enough. Um, talk to us about okay. those. Okay, yeah. so uh, being that you touched Belmopan, Belmopan offers similar courses such yeah. as Belize. Yeah. Right? The only program they don't really have is the pool. Mm. And Ms. Diana will touch on the pool shortly mm. because mm. we have been doing great things. But mm. all in all, these programs are available at the YWCA Belmopan mm -hmm. Narsid Center. And the thing is, they have courses that we don't offer as well. So we urge anybody who is in the surrounding area of Belmopan or Cayo, mm -hmm. contact them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Sit down with, with the, the, the manager there, Ms. Yvette Gill, and she will be sure to, to let you know and let you feel comfortable of all the programs that is happening there. They have, mm -hmm. a, they, they have just finished a tiling program mm -hmm. whereby oh. we saw a lot of women, and mm -hmm. I, I didn't present the picture, but the pictures are in the proof, but women are actually laying tiles, yeah. and it was beautiful, and, and we have proven that it worked because the tile laying class, actually their final project was to tile their snack shop, mm -hmm. and it is beautiful. Like you would never think that these are first time students doing things like this. So they are doing programs such as us in Belize City. Mm -hmm. You just have to reach out to them. 822-0472 mm -hmm. is their number. Mm -hmm. They'll be willing to accept you. Yeah. All right. So other than that, for the month of March, 
we commemorate women mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it is women's mm -hmm. month. Uh, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I agree that fully. The YWCA, <laughs> in collaboration with other entities such as the Women's Department, the Women's Commission, POWA, other entities under, uh, on a plenary board, have come up with different activities. And I'm pretty sure they'll be coming by your studio mm -hmm. to, to let you know exactly what other entities are doing. But for the YWCA, this is for the 1st of March, we're having a Women Empowerment Seminar. And this is going to be Thursday, March 1st. And for this specific day, we are focusing on some, po some programs that we find that a lot of our women aren't really equipped with, mm -hmm. right, or, or, or have been lagged behind with, such as communication skills. Yes. We talk with each other, but <laughs> sometimes we don't listen, right? So we, ha we, we say we have respect for each other, but in actuality, do we know what yeah. it is? So communication skills will be offered. We have table etiquette. Mm -hmm. When we go to dinner, what should I use to eat my dessert with? Mm -hmm. What cup should I drink my water from? Things like that we're not, we, we don't know, right? Yeah. And, and this is what we want to revamp and we, we want to let these women know. And please understand that all of these courses that you see on this flyer are for free, except for the basic automotive repair session. What's the man in the t-shirt? We have Bravo <laughs> coming in to do that, right? So we only ask for $5 administration fee to cover that course, but everything else is totally free. Yeah. We have the basic this automotive like we talk about. This is a crash course, of course, because as you can see, the time frame is an hour and a half, mm -hmm. right? You will learn in this, in this program how to change your tires, how to change a windshield wiper, how to check the fluids, how to give a jump when mm -hmm. you need one, mm -hmm. right? So these are all things that we have uh, thought about that we find is very, very important. Yeah. And women should know about these things, yeah. not only specific Self -defense to men. Self-defense, mm -hmm. how to physically protect yourself from hurtful attacks, yeah. right? So this is one um, person should take up, as well as self-care and stress relief. This will be... Um, facilitated by, by Miss Michelle from Om Shanti and she uh, specializes in meditation, yeah. yoga and all yoga. of that. So um, uh, self-care and stress relief is very important. If you yeah. have had a stressful day and you, and you go home and you're still frustrated, something is wrong. You need to learn how to replenish yourself yeah. and, mm -hmm. and, and, and to, to self-reflect. Yeah. So these programs are being offered Thursday the 1st of March mm -hmm. and most of them are for free except for the basic automotive. So oh. there's, a, mm -hmm. there's a sign in sheet. You go and this is for women only? Not specific to women, okay. but our focus is women. women. Okay, it's women. It's, it's, it's a woman. It's women's month, women's month. Mm -hmm. right? So, and um, we have been having persons calling in, signing up. It's a quick fill out. All you need is your name and your credentials. Mm -hmm. Nothing much we ask for, and that you'll be present for your class. You, you know mm -hmm. something? I'm I'm not seeing there. Maybe it's incorporated in something that you have. I don't see anything on financial intelligence yes. in terms of financial planning. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to jump the gun, but women's department is running other programs this uh, is just specific to the why uh, right they have the other entities are coming up with stuff different from us so okay, we don't so you're trying not to do the same overlapping. right we're not okay, overlapping right. any program so mm -hmm. they will come by i'm pretty sure it's in the planning and then i i believe they are having a financial literacy program yeah. mm -hmm. right so to target that awesome mm -hmm. yep awesome. all right yeah. and so you're supposed to tell us all the Easter is coming up, coming and uh, up. there is this fabulous pool at the YWCA. So you're telling us the pool activities? We'll tell you the pool activities. Yes. yes. So we have our open house, and I think we also had a fly for that. Open house for YWCA is March 17th. So, mm -hmm. it, so March is a very busy month at the Y. And it's open house has been celebrated for many years. It's mm -hmm. when the Y displays what it's all about and what it does, all mm -hmm. its programs. There's lots of food for sale. And usually there's some sporting activities. This year, what we're doing, we're doing our open house, we're having our food, we're turning it into an open house and fair. Okay. Because we do have a preschool, which you all know about, that yeah. has close to 200 children, a little bit over that. Yeah. And um, we don't really have a fair for them in a year. But it, it's okay. not only for them, it's for the public. So we're adding um, some other fun activities to the open house. Um, we're going to have games, train ride, um, dunk tank at the pool. But what we're also doing with the pool, which we're... We were hoping to complete by the end of this week the refurbishing. We've yeah. you pass by, it's a whole different look. Oh, wow. It's more inviting, and that's part of that's strategic. Yeah. We want to invite the business world to come 
and use your pool. Yeah. You know, and I believe if you're going to invite me to use a pool, the pool has to be inviting. Yeah. So we've painted. It really looks nice, you know, yeah. what we're getting there. So um, we want to add a um, water safety. One of the boots at our open house will be water safety. Yeah. We teach lifeguards. Um, we do lifeguard training. Sure. We do learn to swim. Yeah. We want to add to that and talk about what happens during the Easter when you go to sea to the river or use yeah. pools what are some Indeed. safety things to do so we're hoping that we can partner with some of the organizations that are um, focused on that type of thing but to, to give like a pre, literally a pre-easter reminder and caution about if you go in a pool what don't do in a pool yes mm -hmm. if you're taking your babies in the pool with pampas on yes. take them out after one hour because after that it becomes everything is going to leak in the pool yeah. if you're going to the rivers you need no cpr you need yeah. to you know move with a group understand currents. understand yes. currents so that type of thing and so we want to we might not be able to do the as full well as we want this year but <coughs> we're going to start what's called an annual yeah. water safety um, week and this will be our first That's year great. and it's going to be just before the Easter time and we're going to time yeah. it in that but we're going to tie it into our YWCA open house, open house this year and so the pool yes we'll have a launch of our pool shortly definitely in the month of March and we're going to invite you all to come see and yeah. invite people to come become members of the pool and utilize our facilities yeah so um so we're excited about that yes. and, and, mm, go ahead yes yeah, mm. so you know this is our biggest fundraiser like yeah. Mr. Keith had mentioned and this is Miss Wife I was just gonna say next uh, only <laughs> to the Miss Wife. Yes, so mm -hmm. I was going to mention that um, other than this event, we're now recruiting women who are oh. the age of sixty years and over to be a Miss Y contestant. So far we have mm -hmm. one. Um, so it's time for the teenagers yes. to come on and sign up. Yes, and show themselves and my and favorite pageant. Your favorite? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many have you attended? I've attended Okay. Ten. And it's good right it's entertaining awesome I really right and we love that and that's yeah. one of uh, uh, another major fundraiser for us so mm -hmm. you the ywca is all about fundraising and in yeah. order for this institution to continue be what it is and continue offering these services you have to support yeah. right we have always made these programs and and these fundraisers feasible to, mm -hmm. to all economic um, aspects and we have asked that whenever you see these events stop mm -hmm. if you if you buy two things you're contributing yeah. you know if you just render your time you're contributing and the YWSA is always embracing volunteers yeah. if you need your hours come to the Y if you need to accomplish certain things for your school we're willing to assist if I could just tag on to that you'd asked earlier why the Y is so successful every penny you give to the Y literally goes yes. to yep. the Y programs and I'm proud to say that yes. what yeah. you when you contribute time money effort to the Y you see where it goes yeah. right. no, it, what's the area that you usually need the most funds for the helping our leavers program yeah that program uh, has only 23 students and these students the tuition alone cannot withstand the program. Yeah. So when you see these ladies with their tent outside, with their, their entrepreneurship mm -hmm. product, because each one of them have owned a product, such as one will do pizza, one will do coconut tarts, and you see them under the tent, stop and purchase one. Yeah. The money doesn't go to me, doesn't go to Miss Diana, nobody mm -hmm. at the Y, but the programs. Mm -hmm. And the Her Helping Early Leavers program is for girls who did not complete high school, high school, high school, or, school or primary or school. Primary school. Cool. Right, so there's different programs that they could take up. They could take up sewing, they could take up cosmetology and hospitality. Yeah. And within these programs, we still offer them the remedial aspect that they need, the yeah. math and English, the fundamentals. So yeah. mm -hmm. they're, they're gaining the knowledge of having a product or service, mm -hmm. but still know the math and English at yeah. the end of the day. Perfect. So this program specifically needs the most help. What's the typical age range for your helping early leavers? We program? have uh, girls who come at the age of 13 and the eldest is 18. Mm. So, and, and it's specific to the program they want to go in. It's a yeah. two year program. Yeah. So they're there for two years and they major in that specific program that we offer. Yeah. And then they graduate after the two years and we either place them in a job because they do OJT as well, mm -hmm. or they continue to another institution such as IT Vet who offers an advanced scores for them. Excellent. Huh? Are you guys having um, space challenges? Because as I'm looking at all these <laughs> programs and activities that you're having, I'm looking at the pictures. Yes, we I'm are. I'm looking at the expanding <laughs> preschool. You want to help us build? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, come on. Absolutely. Good. Yes. No, yes, we're having challenges with space. We have a daycare center and we're trying to 
see how we can relocate our administration office so we can give the whole top floor of our preschool to daycare. Yeah. We're looking for the coming year to expand our preschool. So we're going to add at least two more classes yeah. um, to our preschool. That's one of the um, our programs that's in demand. And our children, when they leave, um, they get we get really good recommendations and comments yeah. from the, the schools that they filter into. So we have a really good program going to preschool. Um, so yes, and we have new staff, volunteers coming on. So yeah, we, we're but we're juggling our space and is making it work. Is there a long-term plan to relocate to to not to re no, not to relocate. The the Y owns the property it's on. We believe we can build up. Yeah. We can build across, or we, we can expand in the same facilities we yeah. have. Um, we have a basketball court. Um, if that's not mm -hmm. used as much, we've been thinking about if that continues. On, you know, so we, we're thinking of how best we can utilize okay, the space we have. No, no, no. Oh. I mean, not but the building no. that was inaugurated <laughs> most recently was built for an additional floor too, right? Yes. The, yes. The, is it the snack shop? The one in the yes. front? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. the snack shop in the front. But we have space where we could build across and connect yeah. buildings. Yeah. So if, if need be. Yeah. But it's finding the, um, the funding. So we keep looking for funding. We keep um, applying for grants and projects. If I could just quickly throw in, because I'm not sure how we are with time, we have a um, human rights awareness project that's on stream now. Okay. We just got our um, project coordinator on, and so part of what we have to do is the visibility and communication of it. Um, Kiri Lizama is our new project coordinator for the um, human rights um, awareness project. Um, mm -hmm. It's EU funded. Um, it is going to look at exactly what it's saying, providing human rights awareness in schools, in communities. We're, we're partnering with Power in the in the south and or Belmopan Y in in Belmopan yeah. <laughs> and then Belize so it's, it's three districts that we'll be covering Excellent. and we're excited we're going to do training of trainers to ensure there's continuity after us and one of the final things of the project is skills training for some of the beneficiaries who have already like it, on, on their way to becoming entrepreneurs or they're yeah. doing so to help develop their skills Excellent. but we're excited yes. um, about that particular So project. March mm -hmm. 1st, people can go out to the Women's Empowerment mm -hmm. Day at YWCA. Yes. March 17th is open your open, open day time. slash fair, mm -hmm. um, where people can come out and mm -hmm. purchase yes. food, uh, show their support. Um, and if somebody is just watching and saying, okay, I probably won't go to the fair. Uh, mm -hmm. I doubt I work on mm -hmm. that day, but I just want to help. I want to help okay. the girls you spoke about or other people who want to access your program but can't afford it. All right, so let me just throw in now that you have mentioned. Now, let's say you cannot um, attend any of these that we have mentioned. There is another activity happening on the 3rd of March, mm -hmm. and it is called Artists in You. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a new program or a new session we have come up with whereby we will offer, this is a Saturday, by the way, mm -hmm. and it will be from 6 in the evening until 10. And we will offer canvas painting, we'll mm -hmm. offer wine glass painting, we will also offer pottery painting to women who just want to relieve, them yeah. relieve themselves of stress for the weaker of the day with their girls. You know, it's a, it's a chill moment for you. We will have wine, you, you, we have mm -hmm. meditation music playing, you know, it's a good time to catch up, mm -hmm. all right? The ambience will be inviting. We will have everything set up for you. You pay an admission fee of ten dollars. Okay. You come in. You have your wine there. You have whatever it is you want to do. If you want to paint on canvas, if you want to paint on pottery, mm -hmm. you have your personalized mm -hmm. wine glass. You want to yeah. give that mm -hmm. special someone to. You want to make right. sure you design it yourself. Come out. This is the third. The okay. Saturday, the third, from six until ten. Yeah. So if you cannot attend any of those that we have mentioned, the seminar, the open house. We do these things yeah. for you, right? That that is but time you do efficient and all donations that. If we do you have we do. donations. Sponsor girl. Yes, yeah, so I was at the art, um, the street fair the other day, and one of our Belizeans who lives in the U.S. but comes up frequently said, "Diana, I'm so happy to hear you've taken over the Y. How can I help?" Yeah. So there are lots of our Belizeans who are looking for things to do, and we embrace that. I yes. mean, we welcome any kind of um, assistance that you're willing to give. And we said earlier, time Do you your still money, need your volunteers. We're yeah. always looking for volunteers. Mm -hmm. Our summer programs will we'll start. We'll start planning those, and those summer will be here as mm. soon as Easter yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yeah, so yeah. so we're always looking for volunteers. Okay. Um, so all right. Yeah. Well, ladies, best of luck with all the activities that you have lined up for March. <laughs> and uh, thanks for you. keeping us updated, right? <laughs> and thank you for inviting us. <laughs> thank you for having us. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and take our final break. And when we come back, we'll have a wrap.